Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Rob, and I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I investigate beaconing malware with Backstory? Here, we're in Backstory's Enterprise Insights view, where we have two ways to display the data you're sending to Backstory. First, access to the alerts, where we take and redisplay the alerts that might come off of a web proxy or a firewall. Then we have IOC domain matches, where we take all the data that you send to Backstory and match it with IOC feeds we bring into the platform in near real time. Here we can see things like an IOC that was made known of a day ago, but it was first seen in your environment two years ago. There's many feeds here, but today I'm most interested in what the DHS has to say. So here, I'll isolate out the US Department of Homeland Security's AIS feed. And we notice something interesting. Serverhalflife.com is classified as APT activity. It's affecting Todd Fields, and it's been beaconing as recently as 23 minutes ago. This warrants investigation. Here, I'll now dive into our domain view, where we can again see Todd is the only person who's hitting this domain every single day. And that wouldn't be weird if it was google.com or a common news site, but here we also notice that it's classified as AIS activity and uh, VirusTotal has some metadata around it as well. If I dive into Todd Field's PC, we now get to our asset view. And here we can see all the activity that's happening on Todd's machine in a 10 minute window, about 206 events. I can now take this and open it up to, say, a four-hour window. And soon we'll see the number of events will grow, just under 4,000 events. Here we get our timeline view, where you can see we use a concept of prevalence, where rare things bubble up to the top and common lookups fall down to the bottom. We can take this a step further by filtering out prevalence. And let's use a score of 10 or less. Here, this beaconing picture becomes clear. We can see the domain that we started this investigation with, serverhalflife.com beaconing, and this would continue on till today. But we also see an interesting amount of activity happening prior. If I click here, we can look and see what's going on with this office revision lookup. Here on the left-hand side, we isolate out what we call a human readable log line. We know the time that this event happened, what happened, a network connection, and where it was to, officerevision.com. But what's informing this entry is our ability to do data stitching, where we take in data from your DNS provider, your EDR, and your web proxy, and put it all together to make hunting easy. But you always have the ability to go back into the raw logs. I can also look at our summary view, which shows the process that actually uh, made this hostname lookup. And we can see that it's ghost.exe. Probably not something that we want running on this user's machine. So from here, I want to see what Ghost is doing. And for that, I can use procedural filtering to come over and look for the process name. If I isolate this out, we can now track everything that the Ghost process is doing. If I expand out the summaries, we can see that Ghost goes to Office Revision, then makes a file called Notepad, then creates a run key to gain persistence, and then starts to beacon Office Revision a few times before pivoting over to the serverhalflife.com domain that we see today currently active. From here, we have a link that's created, which will open this up exactly how I have it saved, 13 events and highlighting the serverhalflife.com. I can put this into my case notes. I can share this with a colleague and move forward to the next step, which is remediation. So this is how you would do a quick investigation of beaconing malware within Backstory. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.